Hello, 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 everybody. It is I, J Moles of J Moles Gaming, here with another episode of my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. We are back in a third world. Yeah, we are. I know, hard to believe we've come so far and gone so far. Yet, in the end, does it really even matter? So, we are going back into our cave system, back into the mines, if you will. Because we have some unfinished business down here. I still have not found iron. Which is starting to get kind of annoying. Alright, I walled this whole place off. Hmm. Okay, we can go over here, though. Oh, yeah, there's a giant hole here. Probably should remember that. Nothing up here. So I want to make sure no monsters can spawn in here. That would be a bit unfortunate if that was the case. Put you there. Very good, very good. Okay, let's head down here now. Because we have some cave systems to explore today. Last episode, we slayed a lot of freaking monsters, didn't we? Yeah. Kind of proud of ourselves for that. Aha. Right down here. Yeah. We slayed a lot of things last time. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of things. And we also secured a rather large section of cave so, us, so we can explore and just mine some extra cool and stuff. Also gives us a jumping off point to explore the rest of this cave system because it looks pretty large. <laughs> now, that's exit to the outside. So we're not that far below ground level, actually. This is actually directly below it. I know this stuff over there, and this stuff over there. But we have a lot of coal we can excavate right now, and I think that's going to be the plan right now. Just get the resources we can right now, and then we can prepare ourselves for exploring the rest of this cave. I may have gone down here a bit prematurely. I might need to go back up and... Makes it more pickaxes. I'll do that soon ish. There's nothing really much I need outside, I think. There, actually, there might be. I might need food. That's the one thing I'm thinking of. Just go out and find some, like, animals to slaughter. Because we're gonna need some food, I think. Let's have a lot of it just, like, stored in my chest upstairs. Actually, that actually might be the play. We just go back. And go get some food real quick. I don't think we've secured the outside enough to start constructing to start constructing a farm. Actually, we might have, but we're gonna kind of rely on more basic things than that. Okay. Now. Let us just put this back. Because to go back up top to our house, we'll use our ladder that we made. Just right over there, which is quite nice. Okay. Lagging a bit here. Gotta be careful we don't drop down in there. Just in case like a creeper or something spawns in there, that could be an easy wipe for the world. Okay, now... The sun is starting to set. Is there anything just like off the bat that I can see real quick? That we can get. That's the main question we have right now. That might be something right over there. Let's go investigate. Is this it? No, I think it's just Dio, right? It was me, Dio, right? Get it? You get that joke. You already like you. Okay. Uh, While we're here, let's just get this cold. Because we're going to have to haul some ass soon. Breaking dirt with a pickaxe, as you do. How much coal is there? Oh my god! Look at all this coal! Where did this all come from? Okay. Question is, am I being greedy here? I need to haul ass. We need to go. 
cave is quicker. We go in the cave. I like how we have the cave here. Because this makes it so I can just get out of, get out of trouble real quick and easy. Boom. Boom. And we're safe. It's that easy. Alright, that's not what I wanted to do with that wall. I think we can all agree that that was not what was intended there. We don't need to comment on it. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm afraid of those flying freaking monsters that killed the last world off. It was like crawling in that hole like a spider doing that. But now that we're in our mountain home, we can go back up and store away some of this coal. Just to clear up some inventory space. Probably make a door, so I can make a door for that cave entrance. We could probably make a cobblestone door for that. I don't know, maybe I want to do a wooden door. Just so I can see outside. So I have an easy way to tell if it's daytime outside. That might be the play, actually. We might do that. Okay. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do with that freaking torch game. Okay. Now, what I want to do is make a door. The question now becomes, how do we make said door? Huh. I would have thought it had been like this. Apparently, I'm wrong, though. Okay, so what I'm going to need is I'm going to need some wood. Or we just use this extra door I had lying around, apparently. That would also work. Yeah, our food situation is, like, bad. So, the main thing we're going to need to do is wait for daytime just so we can go get some food. Because I have, I have sweet berries. That's good. And I only have one pork chop. Do I have anything in the furnace? No. Okay. Uh, Let's deposit some more coal in the furnace just to be on the safe side. Let's put 20 in there. Store the rest of this coal in here. And then I don't need the arrows. I don't need the rotten flesh or the andesite. Glass panes could still come in handy. I can just merge these. I'm not sure why I had it like that. But the door there sticks over here. Do I need dirt? No, I don't. Okay. Now we have to make pickaxes. Right, 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 right. Uh, do I need four? Yeah, might as well. Let's just make four. Here we go. Just to be on the safe side here. This way we don't run out. Okay, now we can go back down. And I can put this door up, which will be nice. This should come in handy. I have to be extremely careful about monster spawns because I don't have the food to really survive. So we might just focus on excavating some more of that coal. Or being extremely careful. Dude, if there's like anything on the other side of this, on the other side of this, I'm screwed. Okay, so that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. Um, let's just do that real quick. All right, so these walls, not the best. Not the best situation I could be in. Not gonna lie to you. What we're going to do instead is give me my door back. Just do that. Okay? Very easy, very quick, and simple. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go back to our cave. All the way over here. And if we can just get all the coal we need right now, coal will not be an issue later on. Coal's never really an issue once you get past the first few level, first few, like, hours of a world. Then after that, you just kind of, like, snowball with coal because it's everywhere. It's so common. But, it's also extremely useful, so that's a positive. Also, we gain enchanting levels for this, so that's going to be nice. And if I can get some, like, enchanted armor or something later on, I'll... Be in the safe. I'll be safe for a long time with that. I don't know. Do I enchant a weapon first or do I enchant armor first? That's actually a question we're going to have to discuss later on, I'm thinking. Because I can make a weapon that's just like really powerful and like give it like a fire enchantment or something. 
or I can just get like extremely sturdy, like unbreakable armor or something. That could be really good. Like main thing I'm wondering is the moment we get diamond, I'm into I'm kind of wanting to use three for a pickaxe, just for one pickaxe. Rarely ever use it, and then by then we'll probably be in I have a lot of iron. And then just focus on making diamond armor. I feel like diamond armor is a big goal before we can do a lot of the end game for this game. I'm feeling that, that might be the play. And just be really focused on defense for this play for this world. Like, the moment we can run up against, like, three skeletons and not worry about anything, that would be a really good position to be in. Like, if I can regenerate faster than, like, a group of mobs can actually deal damage, that will be in a really nice place. That's kind of obvious, but it's one thing. We're not there at all right now, though. We are struggling on multiple resources. Mainly food and iron. Like, we just have not found iron, and that's kind of surprising to me. It actually, it shouldn't be that surprising, because we started off on top of the mountain. And you don't really get iron until you're, like, subsurface. Like, sub-ground level. And that kind of makes sense, but still, it's like... We haven't found any iron yet, and we've been multiple episodes into this world. Which is kind of, kind of disconcerting for me. I'd love to find just a nice vein of iron. We are now, like, sub, like, ground level, so that might be good. Okay, so we know this spider's around. What we gotta do is just... Not trying and antagonize anything here. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Okay. This can work. If I can try and get the drop on it, I might be able to deal with it. Again, my only problem is spiders are additionally annoying to deal with. I'm ne I was never really that knowledgeable about their movement capabilities. I know they're not they're only like one block tall. So they might be smaller than that. Which can be a bit of an issue. Okay. So we see the cave here. love to be able to see out in, into this cave. I'd love it if I could actually, like, you know, light this place up. That's not where I want the torch. Glass panes might come in real handy here. Why do I have these sticks here? Let's move the panes here. Okay, put you there. Put you there. Okay, so that's a three block there. I can probably put a torch down there. Okay. Now we got a window of sorts. I could break another piece of glass and just mine those two blocks. Alright, so the stuff above us, we gotta be wor worrying about that. Because I can hear the thing getting killed by sunlight. Yeah, you can, you can definitely hear that now. Okay, how far does this cave go, though? Gotta be extremely careful about this. Okay. So far, so good. Honestly, at this point, I kind of want to do this. Okay. That's a bit annoying. Uh... 
Uh, I don't think there's anything there. Ah, here's the issue. Okay, so it's a cave to the outside. Good, we're going to what? So we can safely ignore this passage. I didn't see anything needed that was very useful there. But now we know something, and that's really important, and that's the cave to the outside. So that's an entrance, so that's another way we can go outside if need be. Interesting. Let's just glass this up. And there's also a creeper right over there, so... We can probably safely ignore that. My question now becomes this. Okay. Be very careful here. We're hunting rabbit. Okay. Just try and light this place up. Not today, Satan. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We dodged that attack, which was really useful. Actually, it's light outside. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we gotta go get food. Okay. Well, at least we know... To the right is useless, because that's just exit to entrance to the outside. We can ignore that. But the other entrance is deeper into the caves, and that there is mo all monsters in there. That's good to know. Okay. Okay, put the door in there. Good. Nothing is around here, right? Let's just move away. God damn it. I fell into the one place I didn't want to fall into. Move, 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 move. Okay, I don't see anything. That's not necessarily... that helpful, though. Okay. Other things we gotta be worried about. There might be, like, creepers and stuff that's still roaming around, and might be surviving because of in the shade of the trees. Octopus is down there. There is a pig right over there, so we're gonna go for him. We're gonna go for this play. Actually, what I would like to do is this. Make a bridge. Now we don't have to keep swimming in the water. We can make this bridge. Dude, I know I keep saying this, but this te this shader pack is so nice. Like, look at the reflection on the water. Like, you don't expect that from Minecraft. Ooh, I got Diorite. Get my freaking torch back. Alright. Now, where where the three little pig go? Got a huff and puff over this thing. Where are you? Be very, very quiet. We're hunting oikas. Okay, I completely whiffed those hits. Ignore that, though. Yeah? Ooh. Okay, how much was that? Ooh, we got two raw pork chops. Okay. Let's move you there so I can keep track of you. Let's see, why do I have sticks here? Move that there. Okay, good. Now, what we can do is find some more animals. That'd be helpful. Actually, now I'm starting to think about it. We could probably, like, clear out an area here and just make, or like, over there, and make a farm over there. We might be able to do that, but we're not going to do that now. Probably for, that's probably a task for a few episodes down the line. Not entirely sure, because I want iron for buckets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need buckets for that. To transport the water. Unless I want to do it just like here. What the hell was that? I thought I was getting attacked. 
All right, so don't stand in those things. Is that a fox? Yo, what the fox say, though? Oh my god, he's adorable. Look at him. Hey, those things aren't, like, aggressive, right? How about we avoid it just and not, like, test this? Let's just, you know what? Give the fox his room. Yeah. Be kind. And just give him its room. Freaking berries. I am, like, deadly afraid that the, like, the whole, like, idea behind those berries is that they're poisonous and they're called sweet berries. Like, you know that trope of, like, people lost in the woods and they eat the mushrooms or berries and they're poisonous? <gasps> is that a mirage? I see a conglomerate of pigs. Not pigs. Freaking, I'm an idiot. Of cows. There's three of them. There's a whole family over there. And we're going to slaughter them all. Okay. Come over here, cows. I'm gonna need some beef. Yeah, I'm gonna be like Arby's out here. Yeah, who got the beef? Who got the meats? I do. Yeah? One down. Oh, we might be able to make leather armor. Oh, that's gonna be extra nice. Just to give us a little layer protection. You're dead. Hey, you didn't think you were gonna get off scot-free, did you? You're dead, too. There we go. Okay. Eight beef and a leather. That's, okay, that's like big, big pog. Big pog. Okay, now, where the hell are we going? Oh, this place is actually quite nice over here. We might be able to build a little outpost over here. Got some, like, nat nice natural protection over here. Okay. Okay, Minecraft, I see you. Got a floating island over there. And over there as well. Don't, don't ask me how that works with gravity. Uh, I don't want to get too far away from the house. Because we really don't need a repeat of last of the last world. That'd be a bit sad, because I'm really liking this world. Really liking where we set up shop. I'm liking everything about it. Only thing I would like more is if we could get some freaking iron in here. Uh, shadows are starting to get kind of long. Let's head back. Oh, it's the fox. Live free, my boy. Live free. Okay, we need to get back to the house ASAP. It's start sun starting to go down. Things are getting tight. We gotta go. Gotta go. We gotta go right now. He's bound and now 18 real of old, and we're gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go. Oh my god. You can the the freaking shader pack just makes it like so obvious that the sun is setting. One of the nice things about this about this shader pack. If you wonder what pack I'm using, it's a Sioux shader pack, by the way. I've said that before, but not this episode. Good god. Sometimes you just want, like to get lost in the Minecraft. You know? It's one of those games that's like it's just nice and relaxing. Like, unless you're like doing some like stupid challenge like I'm doing right now with like, hard with hardcore, it's hard to get upset over Minecraft. A lot of time he's just like chilling out, being peaceful and relaxed. It's nice. It's nice. Okay, we still have some light. I need. What I'm gonna try and do is go up my ladder. Because I need to get up top. Okay, let's try out my ladder system. We also need to make sure this works under pressure. And nothing's really spawned yet, so we should be fine. What, I can, what the next step will probably be with this whole ladder situation is I build a tunnel system, right? And I just, like, enclose this entire place all the way up to my... all the way up to the house. That'll probably be the next step. The good thing about being on the mountaintop is even at sunset, we still get plenty of light up here. And I don't think monsters can spawn here because of the light yet, still. It gives us an extra buffer zone. While stuff might be spawning down below, not up here. That's going to be quite nice. So, go back in the headquarters. There we go. Put some beef in the barbie. Whatever the hell we want to call a furnace. How do you cook food in a furnace, right? Like, you have to have, like, a shelf system, right? Oh, I guess it kind of does. You have the fuel down below with the coal. Light it up, and you put stuff in the top. I guess that's how it works. Ooh, we got some steak. Why do I have gravel on me? Like, have we fallen that far? 
Let's eat this pork chop. Boom. There we go. That is what we like to see. Do I have any wool? I don't think I can make a bed. Also, I'm doing hardcore, so does a bed have, like, actual any value? That's my question. I don't think it does. Kind of sad when you think about it. Rod and flesh. I don't know if that has any value. Okay, this wooden axe definitely doesn't. So what we're going to do is... Just ditch that. Doors are closed. Good. More meats. Okay, we're now like Arby out here. I can make an item frame. I could do that. Or I can make something useful. Oh, we can make a deal... A Dio right wall. Uh, we can make not much else, actually. Oh, why do I have this leather on me? Okay, let's just deposit that. Okay. Put some pork chops in the grill. Okay, so... This episode, because we'll be wrapping it up soon. We only have a couple of minutes left, really. So, recapping this episode... I record these early in the morning. Nice way to wake up and get ready for the day. So, recap this episode. We explored more of the cave system. We realized we had yet another entrance to the outside down in our cave, which is always nice to have. We, we realized there is a threat in the other part of the cave system, though, and that monsters do spawn there, and that it is an expanded cave system, so we'll be able to explore that, which will be quite nice. And... We got some much-needed food. We have ten, food, 10 meat in total. We have two pork chops and eight steaks. We have uh, an absolute surplus of coal. Like, we have a lot of coal. We almost have two full stacks of it. Actually, we probably do if we count the furnace stuff in, as well. Yeah, we have over two coal, full stacks of coal. So that's going to be really nice. We still have yet to find any iron. So, I bel so my opinion, now that we have food. We ex Next episode, we explore the rest of this cave system and try and find some iron, because iron has to be the next big thing on the agenda. We have to find some iron, because we can't really stay on this, te on this level of technology for too long and expect to get anywhere without just kind of like running in circles. So yeah, that'll be the next, the next thing we try and focus on for the next episode. Another big project I do want to work on is making our route from the ladder all the way to this house completely safe, even during nighttime. And that's not just with torches, so make a little bit of a tunnel that just leads directly to the house here. Like, maybe make an extra entrance, like, right here that leads directly to the tunnel. And just, like, door it off or something. And just light it up with torches. That'll probably be the next big construction project on the agenda, as well as constructing a farm down near the rivers below. Just so we can start harvesting some weed and get some, like, Make some bread from that and all that good stuff. Probably find some sugarcane as well so we can grow that as well. We got a lot of things coming up on the agenda here. So look forward to it. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.